Hello. Good afternoon. Sacred Spiritual Healer. If you would like a private reading, you can email me at sacredspiritualhealer gmail.com. This is your career and finance reading for the day. Okay. Spirit gives true and precise messages for the career and finance of the collective. So the career and finance of the collective. True and precise messages, Spirit, for the career and finance. of the reading from the other day and I've done multiple readings with these cards so it's certainly not that they aren't shocked energy on these cards. Someone is not in their truth regarding work situation. Uh, the Ace of Swords is a new beginning. Sword, single sword is also true, but it's down, it's not up. So um, there's some clouded, um, this is something to do with passion because there's so much pink in this card. There's two flowers, so passion between different two different persons. Um, but not in truth regarding the situation, not in truth from one to another. They're saying, like, what's that saying? Talking out the other side of their mouth, something like that. Like, this is really what's going on, but this is what they're saying is going on, trying to make it something they're, that's it's not, or protecting, covering up what it is, something along that line. This uh, Knight of Cups here is moving forward away from this turning his back on the gifts that have been given to him regarding love regarding passion this cup is empty he's looking forward he or she um, the divine's trying to give him messages although he's not speaking his truth he's not speaking up about anything his throat chakra here is covered with this shield and it's He's facing this choices, three of cups, three other persons. Again, this is the gossip card where um, these two persons are gossiping either to or about the redhead here. Um, she's receiving the heightened uh, messages from spirits trying to give her the heads up of the gossip and the uh, lies that are going on um, there turning their back on others. This is the also behind gossip behind closed doors or in obviously in the workplace, but it's something to do with like they it's just something they talk about amongst themselves and then the other one spreads the drama. So no more drama. Find a new workplace, that's all I got for you there. <laughs> Okay, Ten of Pentacles is where you are next. This is the sword of the new beginning. You're looking for a new beginning in your love life, in your family life. You want this is an ending, an ending to the family. 
um, regarding your Ten of Pentacles, you may even have to divide your assets. But you are looking for a new beginning with another. Because this is an ending, this is the beginning. Taking a rest at this, being defensive. You have your Three of Swords here, your mask is closed. You're fully armored when you're taking this nap, a resting period. Feeling very defensive, like you're not safe. Regarding the lies that you've told, you're hoping they don't come back and stab you in the back. So you keep a sword at your side to defend yourself. And this is also someone that can't sleep at night. Um, they keep working. The Three of Pentacles are all in these um, windows up here. Or things that look like pentacles. But um, you can't sleep regarding the three... The triangle, the communication, the lies that are being told multiple time and time again regarding this. Repetitive lies. Thank you, sir. And what's it regarding? It's a four of cups. So you have the divine cup here being offered to you from the divine, but you've got these other three cups that you're entertaining. Um, and it appears to be in the workplace, obviously, because, well, you have the, it's the work reading. This redhead here is... Uh, may or may not be in communication or at the workplace but some are needless to say this person has three cups three other people he's entertaining but yet the divine is handing him the everything he's ever dreamt of the wish the he wished upon a star kind of relationship or a situationship or partnership whatever this is the one the situation is going to cause growth in his life um, enlightenment in his life but instead he's um, being uh, deceptive, fooling himself, uh, entertaining these other three choices in the workspace. Queen of Swords is here to cut out the BS. Queen of Swords is going to uh, be very passionate about her words, very truthful in her words. This sword is upright. She's surrounded with pink, very passionate, blossoming. Uh, she's growing her work uh, ethics. She is in her truth at all times. And she's going to cut out the BS, the lies, in this situation. This person here is a two of rods. He wants to move forward, and he's holding his globe, um, almost like he's going to offer it to the queen as a gift. You can see that it's facing this. Um, so he's choosing this uh, rod to move forward, hoping that it blossoms with a gift that's on his thing, holding the... Uh, making the choice of different people, offering a gift, perhaps, to the Queen of Swords. This communication from the Divine is coming in, pointing to move on, to move forward, um, pointing the direction they need to go. But this is almost not just black and white situation, but it's got the, the lines have become blurred as to which direction to go. Overall energy is on their mind is their pentacles, growth. What's in their heart, pentacles. And what's in their hands, pentacles. They want, they keep juggling uh, these, um, how to make money or what's going to be the, uh, of their, uh, help them to be abundant. That's what they're thinking about. That's what's in their heart. But they're surrounded by darkness and a cloudy sky. Um, the clouds are, are, are clouding their judgment in this situation. So they're not seeing the, the, the demise, to the fall of their own demise, the, the situation they created, they're not seeing that it's because of what they did. What, I gotta get, hang on. They're not seeing the truth of the matter. They're not seeing their own lies. They are believing their lies. They are seeing that this situation, they're juggling these people in the workplace is the demise of their career, the cause of their own issues, the basis for their own issues, that their troubles that they're coming across, and then blaming others, causing the blurred lines. That's interesting.
Harriet wants to move forward, though, on the bottom of the deck. With the Ten of Cups, regarding love, somebody wants to move forward with you. And it's regarding the lovers. Lovers want being one of them, not necessarily the Divine Two of Cups, it's a lover. Maybe a soulmate, just somebody you're having friends with benefits. Someone, though, in a situation, wants to share your the Two of Cups, equal give and take. Someone wants to nurture you and have you nurture them. Someone wants that Two of Cups with you. Judgment is here to make it happen so that you're no longer juggling these persons in the pentacle situation, which will then bring you the sun outcome regarding your star. The, well, this is an Aquarius. Um, regarding the star, the one that guides you, lights you up, the one that you hear singing in your mind, you're perhaps even receiving telepathic communication, your spirit guides are telling you, follow this star. Okay, I'll put these back and shut that again. So we clarify. Ace of Swords, please, Spirit. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify Ace of Swords. Clarify Ace of Swords. Two cups. The lies, the two flowers lying, making uh, the situation sound like it's something that it's not. The two, regarding these two persons trying to, I don't know, play the field. Two cups. That's the basis of the lies. The Knight of Cups wants to move forward as the Knight of Wands, wants to move fast with wands energy. The world is the ending of a cycle and a new beginning. This is what he's moving towards. He wants an ending of the cycle. Three of cups, please. Ten of cups. Three of cups. Two party situations in the workplace. He's only going to. <laughs> it's only going to end one way. You know what? With a tower. <laughs> right. Yeah, again, can't make this up with the lovers. It's causing fighting, bickering, gossip. Again, a lot of gossip, a lot of undermining someone uh, in communication. Again, with the swords, very cutting. I'm hearing uh, assassination of the character. There's the gossip is assassinating one's char someone's character. The three of pentacles, even though they normally work very hard and are fruitful, this is just undermining that effort. Clarify the ten of pentacles, please. The ending of this happy home life. The page of cups regarding love. The page that wants to bring this cup of love, but yet it was a fish. The seven of Wands is communication. They're listening to the spirit guides. They have um, communication and they're speaking to those below them. So the communication, perhaps someone speaking to the ones they work with uh, about the three party situation. And the Four of Swords is clarified with the Four of Swords. People uh, gossiping, watching every move that person makes, everything they make, uh, do. They go back and uh, gossip about whether it was right or wrong. They're putting this person down for the count or trying to put this person down for the count. They're doing this gossip to not make someone look, not just make someone look bad. They're trying to assassinate their character. Yeah. And the person, this is one of the gossipers, they don't even realize that it's really going to assassinate their own character. The. It's like self-sabotage, and they're not uh, seeing it that way. Regarding this three-party situation, the broken heart, the sorrows in the heart. Okay, four of cups, please. Press by four of cups. The hermit and the, you know, the hermit. You're going to go in as a hermit, 
and have, because you're out in the cold, look at the trees. It's usually a beautiful oak in the south, and it's snowing and covered with ice, and the tree is dying. But you're going into hermit mode, just following the light, hoping for some guidance on that case of cup. Spirit wants you to come out successful with this ten of pentacles, but there's a snake behind the door. In this window you see here, while the birds are working on their pentacles, there's a very large snake just waiting for prey, just like the, yeah, this one. And these two are like a lot alike because they both, okay, so remember this one was the character assassination, their, their own self-sabotage, but they're you know, lurking behind the window doing the gossiping and just waiting to strike on this person. Um, and he's not aware that that's really the underlying, underlying what's really going on. He thinks he's part of their grouping, but it's a snake behind the window waiting to attack. And it's in the workplace because it's your pentacle space affecting the pentacles, affecting your finances, your life, your home, livelihood. Thank you, Spirit. But Queen of Swords here, ooh, she's going to cut out some BS, the Hierophant. This is a judgment, um, a court case, something decided. Somebody sits down that gallant or hammer or whatever it's called regarding the situation and makes the ruling and it's going to be divinely guided because you have an angel right behind this big crow. But the Hierophant is, uh, well, sometimes it's a divine masculine and it very well could be a divine masculine. Uh, caught up in his karmic situation still, but the hairpin in this is showing that there's someone higher up than him going to make a judgment call regarding this uh, situation. The word has been out that gossip doesn't just stop at that one little tree that they're standing at. It's going to spread. It's going to spread all over. But the Queen of Wands is also here with communication between the two speaking to one another telepathically and she's in listening to her higher self for the good of the others the queen of wands is the emperor well, like part of the empress it's a communication so it's something to do with the divine the communication that he's receiving with this that he goes back and gossips but she knows. She's in her power. She knows that this is happening. That she might tell him this or have this happen, but he's going back and spreading this a little bit. It's not telling the full picture, telling what he wants. A page of wands. He's immature regarding his choices. All right, two of wands. Choosing one and moving forward with the pentacles. The tower, the, this this communication, this gossip, this non-stop drama, uh, assassination of someone's character, um, is spread throughout to the point that it reached right that hierophant, the higher ups, and they are putting their gauntlet down. What's it causing? A tower. It's going to crumble if that person that's going back, the one lion there. Um, is going to lose everything he has. He's going to be at rock bottom. He's this, it was a faulty foundation built on lies, gossip, drama for their own self, pleasures of a third party. That's when you can say, God bless Carl. So even though he thinks he's working hard, those other people are up here stirring that gossip, stirring that chaos around him and taking what good work he had done and making it worthless because the truth's going to come out and he's only going to end up with one pencil. Tower. There are five, four pencil here. Strength. It's going to take a lot of strength to come past this. The pastures weren't green around the other side. They were dead and brown. The trees around them were dying. But this is um, the eternity symbol here. You know, 
been an ongoing situation. He's not listening to his higher self. He just maybe he thinks it's just something that he's got to scratch. But he should be listening because the spirits are talking to him. The divine great spirits have been talking to him and trying to bless him with abundance. And he's uh, in his ego, this lion. But it's going to take strength. Because he's going to lose everything he has with that tower. The wheel of fortune is trying to turn, but you're spending so much time in your head about all these lies and gossips and all the wrongdoings you've done, but you go right back out the, the affinity symbol and start it up all over again. I'm sorry, that just needs to be smacked in the head. <laughs> like, wake up, you're doing it to yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so leaving behind the uh, things that no longer serve him, that communication with the one person that he hopes to have, but instead he's on that continued uh, treadmill, pretty much the hamster wheel, twirling and twirling, working on pentacles, and those ones that he was gossiping with and uh, thought he was a part of their little groupie, um, they're just stirring the chaos until he falls off the hamster wheel. I don't know if the hamster's really falling, but for the king of cups. The king of cups is the king in which he perhaps is someone of authority that's doing this, someone who had some emotion for someone but is spending more, getting more enjoyment out of assassinating their character. Uh, he's holding himself to high regard because this certainly isn't someone that deserves accolades if they're doing this. Uh, the six of wands usually is equal and balanced. Uh, you have three on one side and three on the other, not bringing them together, but separating themselves from the group. Anything else for this? Dramatic reading. <laughs> oh, spirit, spirit, spirit. Judgment is here. Probably another tower if I had another deck. But Ten of Cups. Yeah, they still are looking for that Ten of Cups with the judgment, but they're going to lose. They have to surrender, and uh, they're going to lose all three of those persons, a three-party situation. They're going to die off and be um, left behind. Divine Cup was here. The gift from Divine was here. And it, they were supposed to take, but they didn't. And here there's four people, two in the nest and two working, looking at each other like, huh, how about that? There are like two, still those two that were in the window. They're still standing right here beside this, watching every move they make at, at, in their home front. Let's get a different deck. Clarify. Anything you want to add, spirit with the shaman deck. Let's see what we can add to this. This is clearly only for a few. In the way that this turns out, perhaps some will make the right decision and end up with some pentacles. But once that tower hits, if they don't choose correctly before that tower hits, no room in the uh, Nothing's going to come out good. It's going to come out of gossip. Nothing good is going to come out when you're trying to knock someone else down or, or what was it, assassinate the character. Yeah, wands, nine of wands, almost an ending. You're trapped, you feel trapped. You feel like the flames are moving down after you and the animals are there to tear you apart when it does occur. The air, let's see, this is the queen of swords again. Cutting things out. Um, leaving you for the, well, these look like crows too, but um, what are those? Uh, Boy, scavengers there, not falcons, vultures, thank you spirit, vultures, the vultures are going to tear you apart, the queen of swords is here to slice you up and let the vultures have you, or the vultures are the people that are gossiping, waiting to tear you apart, thank you spirit, that's probably more like it, 
and the lovers, of course. And with these two lovers, this uh, is a perfect example of the three-party situation because this is two people, but there's a snake holding their hands together so well. In more of a divine love, they're, you know, they're wrapped with a, a ribbon, but this one is they're holding their hands up, and I'll show you, but there's a snake holding it together. That the relationship is, uh, is ill-advised, is not going to... Uh, yeah. So here's the lovers you see the snake going up their arms together. The nine of wands is the ending of this. The, you can't keep running. The flame's going to come down that canal and still get you. And when it does, if it doesn't, those two panthers up there, lions or the tigers, are going to get you if this doesn't. And the vultures are just there to tear you apart when she's done with you. This might be the wife or uh, someone, one of those three parties. Very cool. All right, I'll get you some advice. I mean, it doesn't take... And I could give you some advice on that one, but we'll get it from the spirits. <laughs> Don't envy anyone that's caught up in this mess. Don't envy anyone that has to work with this mess around them. This is very dark, negative energy, very low vibration energy. I mean, I'm really surprised uh, that someone that would be in this channel spiritually that would have this kind of low vibration in their life, but it happens. Here, what advice would you like to give them? What advice do you have for them? Okay, the age of light. You've been training for this your whole lifetime. Okay, this is to, when you come up out of this, and maybe that's a trying to tell you that you know you've been training. You need to walk away from this stuff. This has been something you've battled your whole lifetime. Thank you, sir. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? Um, teach um, again instead of uh, how are you being called to uh, step up and lead instead of gossiping with those people uh, having the three party situation perhaps you should be leading them to a higher vibration create heaven on earth yeah and this is for your spiritual the Lamori they're really pertinent to that reading but Usually they tie in so well with the reading. So this is what I have for you, for your career in finance. If some of you would recognize or recommend, uh, on a personal note, I'd recommend you find another place to work. Leave this drama. And those that work with that kind of drama around them, you might want to leave too, because that's just no place to, not a positive energy in any workplace. Have a blessed day.